Well, hello. Right, van has arrived with stock. That's the first box coming in here. It's looking pretty empty. Let me show you the back of the van because that's not looking very empty. Right, so somehow we've got, we've got to fit all of that in. Right, it's so cold, I've got a red nose. So we've started to stack boxes on here, the bigger boxes, and then we're going to fill in these shelves as we go. I've got Andrea here having a go. You're not feeling too good though. We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, it looks an awful lot, was it? Is it more than you thought it was? I don't know yet. It's not in. It's not everything in the back of the van that I showed you. That's not all of ours. But we do have the space in here still. We have we have this as well, which we can just fill up. Because for now, I'm not going to do the photo bay and stuff. This is going to be storage for the short term. Especially while it's this cold. So all we've got to do is just move it all in here. And we can sort it out afterwards. By the time it's warm enough to work in here, we should have cleared some stock, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll make it work. We always make it work. But it does look frighteningly huge amounts of volume. We're having a sneaky peek in some of the boxes. What's in here? High vision bullet cameras? Oh, is this oh, the security stuff? Security cameras in here. <laughs> what have we got in here? Green boxes. Oh, these are laminators. Oh, these are good. I think these are the laminators. Yes. Box full of laminators. Oh, there we go. Excellent. They were, they were a really good line, actually. Should do well on this. Oh, they're heavy. Is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? Right, so we are stacking up in here. These are uh, bubble machines. They're, they look like whales. Um, yeah, we've got quite a lot of those. I think we're gonna store a lot of these in one of the lofts because they're pretty lightweight. Um, I've just cleared under here, so we're gonna start putting boxes under there because we've filled the table. Um, what will happen is we'll obviously break down these boxes and then everything will be shelved. Um, but we don't really have the time to do that right now. But yeah, it rapidly filled up in here. We've got a long way to go. But we do have lots and lots of racking space to utilise. So I think under there is next plan. So the madness continues. Uh, we are rapidly filling up under the table. But as I said before, once we break a lot of these boxes down, plus when we've got the extra racks in, most of it will stack up on the shelves. And some of the overstocks we were just discussing, we're gonna put up in the loft, the lighter stuff anyway, mm -hmm. like the, uh, the bubble machines that we have loads of, which are going to be quite seasonal, I think, anyway. They'll go in, in summer and Christmas. So if we stack those up in the loft. I mean, we've got to move them again. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, but we've got plenty of those. they just stay here for a little bit? <laughs> they can stay here for a while. We're not in urgent need of moving them. <coughs> but we can still fill this space as well. We're getting there. Right, let's see how much is left. See, it's almost empty. Right, we are almost there. Uh, so we have a stack in here, um, completely filled under the table. And down here, we started to put some bits in the racks, as you can see, not a lot. So yeah, 
we're just going to have a look at a few more lines that have that we might do another deal on and then i thought we might go through a bunch of boxes and uh i'll show you some of the stock okay so the van has just gone everything is in look how cold it is look at the frost up there um, yeah, so we have fitted it all in. Obviously, we've got a lot of work now to go through all of this, organise it all. We've got to do a stock check and check that we've got everything we think we've bought and it's all here um, and then get it all wrapped up properly. We've started to organise it a little bit. So, should we have a look in some boxes? Should we have a look around and see what there is? These are, you know those round hoovers, those little hoover robot things? We've got some of those, not many of those, but there's really good profit in those, I think. Um, you see in the light, these are dog travel bags. Really nice product, actually. I think we'll do rather well on those. Um, I can't remember how many of those we've got. They're quite bulky, but I think a lot of the bulk of those we're gonna store in the loft because they're not heavy and they can go up there. Right, I think this is one of the uh, doorbell sets we've got. So these are the receivers. So they're wireless doorbell sets. Um, they're really quite nice. So we've got, I can't remember the numbers, but we've got a load of those. Um, these are nice, we've got lots of these. So they come with a set of brushes. And then in here, there's your little paint palette and individually packaged paints. So that's quite nice because they won't dry out, obviously. They're all sealed individually packaged paints. We've got lots of those. It's a nice set. Uh, what have we got in here? Oh, these are, um, what do you call it, power banks. You know the thing. Very nice product for us because it'll ship as a large letter bunch of those. Oh these, the packaging isn't great, but these are digital scales. Uh, what have we got over here? Oh yeah, watercolour brush pens, 24 in a set, those are rather nice. Baby monitors with a uh, screen. They're good. That was one of the lines that has really nice margin, I think. So we should do pretty well on those. Um, lots of this stuff, transfer paper. So for printing onto t-shirts, etc. cetera. Um, I think these are compatible with Cricut. I think it was these. Um, but yeah, we, We've obviously done our research and we've looked into the market for this stuff. And yeah, those sell really well. Lots and lots of that. And the price point we got those was really good. Uh, some jewelry boxes up there. Um, oh, these are more pet stuff. These are pet carriers. <laughs> Can you imagine Jeff in there? Yep, that's a good line. Lots and lots of stuff. Where else should we have a look? I think these are more the pet stuff in there. In here. Um, oh yeah, curtain rings. Um, we'll probably break these down into different size lots. I'm not sure how many comes in one packet. Um, but yeah, good, strong market for those. Um, that's quite a good lot. These are rather nice. These are official Warcraft 
great big gaming mats. Um, yeah, quite like those. Can't remember the numbers, but we've got lots of these. I think it's all the same design. There might be a couple of designs. Um, there's a couple of boxes of them. They're all individually wrapped under here. Yeah, that was good. There's some record players. I mean, they're not amazing quality record players. And these are very Christmas branded, clearly. Um, they'll do okay. We got them cheap enough to make it worthwhile. They're, like I say, they're not, not great quality record players, but they're a very nice gift item. As you can see, a lot of this is ex-Amazon. Um, a lot of this would have been in the Amazon warehouse at some point. I don't know if these have got Amazon labels on. Yeah. What are these down here? Are these the little... These are the bubble machines. Now, I've not had one of these out yet. Got lots of these. Um, yeah, going to be very seasonal. The price was right, so we went for them. They're little whales and they they blow lots of bubbles out of the top. I believe, yes, they come with bubble liquid. So we've got lots of those. Um, I think that's definitely a product we're going to put the bulk in the loft. Because as I think I showed you earlier, these a lot of these big boxes here have those bubble whales in. So that'll be easy to just store those away. They're very lightweight and they'll sell better in the summer and at Christmas. We have astronaut costumes. There you can see it comes with the helmet and this NASA branded little dressing up outfit. I think the sizes we got were medium. So eight to 10 on the age. So yeah, quite a lot of those, um, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, that gives you an idea of uh, the sort of stuff. It, it's a whole range of stuff. Like I say, from toys to electronics, uh, gift items, homeware, bit of everything. And I now have my work cut out to organise all of this, work out what's going to go away in the lofts inside, some of the bulk. Um, but yeah, it's here. We have the stock finally. What's down here? Let's have another look in the box. Oh yeah, these, I like this as a product. It's um, kind of very on trend with the organise your life kind of thing. Marie Kondo. So it's all of these little, see how many little, uh, what do you call them? Little storage boxes and little drawers and stuff. Little packs of those, got a bunch of that sort of stuff. So anyway, I think now it's time to go inside, have a cup of tea, warm up because my fingers are frozen and filthy as well. But there you go, that is the haul. It's a big one. Uh, big investment up front. I made that video the other day about halls and how it's it's a risk. It's a lot of money up front. And although we have researched, individually researched these products, there is still an element of risk involved. But the, the joy of this is it's all brand new stuff and we'll be able to find um, product images online. Uh, as I said, a lot of this is ex-Amazon stock, so there'll be Amazon listings with really nice pictures that we can use. So it should be quick to list and then start shifting it all. Because I've got a lot of stuff to sell now. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will, as ever, pop another video up here. I'll pop another haul video up here, another mega haul, and you can check this one out. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.